Hello everyone, this is a Mad Cat Sphere, and I wanted to uh, upload a video to teach you guys a little bit about the raw simplicity that anyone can describe it, the techniques to use to develop psychokinesis. Now, this is the simplest, lowest, um, you know, the easiest, like the, the, the lowest level anyone can describe it to you. Psychokinesis is very straightforward and simple. What it is, is that it's basically like, um, um, it, what it is that you're basically giving your time and energy like for example you give me your time and energy when you're speaking to someone that's an example when you're speaking to somebody like psychokinesis you have to give your undivided attention to that person like like speaking to someone having a conversation with somebody you're looking at them you're paying attention no matter how long they talk you're paying attention and you're retaining the information and you're maintaining the same enthusiasm as when you first shook their hand and saw them um, for the first time in two years so you're maintaining your emotional connection and enthusiasm and you're also maintaining focus and and um, paying attention to what is occurring um to to what they're saying and what is what is happening that's that right there is bigger than taking ornaments and taking crystals to to develop a psychokinesis you just need to be involved you need to be you and uh that help this guys helps you that's like the biggest tip that I could give you guys. I don't know what else I could give you except for that. It Psychonese is not difficult. It's not hard. It's not rocket science. And also as you're doing this, paying attention and being emotionally involved and maintaining your emotional enthusiasm, what is occurring, being patient. Um, the thing is though is that don't force it. Don't force it. Don't get ahead of yourself. R remove your ego. You know, don't try to uh, expect a you know, to, to, to lift a car with your mind or nothing. You have to be uh, humble and patient within yourself. You have to be, you, you have to wait. You have to sustain a sense of meekness and and being humble within yourself and being thankful for what you do get, even the smallest thing. Um, don't force the object to move before your eyes. You have to, you have to just relax and um, allow yourself to just be there, be involved, emotionally involved. Sit for a few minutes, five or ten minutes, and visualize how you want the object to move. But don't forcefully visualize it. Just be relaxed. Don't force it. It's not very difficult. It's not. It will take time, but you will get something going. Because psychokinesis doesn't require you to like purchase anything or to own anything. Like of course some people will tell you that um, you can own some crystals. You know, yes, you can have crystals, but um, you don't need to have anything physical around you in order for you to develop your abilities you know yes it's good to have crystals to have them around the crystals but you need to have them for around you for a while you need to have the crystals around your home because what they do is that they send off uh, different types of crystals send off different types of vibratory uh, vibrations throughout the air and space and time and they intersect your body and it helps to balance your mood and your spirit and you know how you exist in this realm and all that in this space and time realm and, and but you need to have them around you constantly you know in order for your uh, your mind to become enlightened and become more more um, more deeply involved with the environment you need, to, you need to be around them big or small you need to have them around you all the time in your home like I guess there's certain techniques to meditate with them yes that can help but uh, uh, on the retention of meditation you know because you, you need to retain everything that you've experienced from meditation in order for it to affect you and to affect your powers and that takes a lot of work it, you, you need to be around crystals at least for like a year or something or, or half a year and then you need to practice psychokinesis as you're around the crystals so you need to have this combination of this like this uh, triangle three uh three wham kind of thing like this like this three technique thing going on um having crystals practicing and meditating all all at once uh um, each and every day or at least once in a while in order for it to really affect you but you don't really need to do that because crystals cost a lot of money too and you can have them for friends or whatever you could also have small crystals in your pocket carry from work and all that um, and and and, and ornaments is also something too what it does is that ornaments is something that's very healthy it does help you um, it helps to um, uh, um, to kind of uh, create more neural paths in the brain and to kind of make your heart more healthier and your blood and everything and your oxygen levels and your pH levels to be more balanced and and just to feel good, you know, just to be healthy basically. And so that helps too, you know, so that you can be uh, 
more enthusiastic and instead of being so sluggish and slow so down it lifts up your mood the crystals lift up your mood and so yes those things they do matter but the thing is those hypnesis is the best thing ever because you don't need a device or or crystals or or ormus or, or, or anything really all you need is yourself like you can even practice hypnesis naked you know in the living room you don't need to do anything specific it, you just need to have yourself uh, although the outcome is amazing it is scientific but we're all gods and we're all scientists by by nature so um you know i hope you guys do this be patient i hope you guys helped you thank you guys